The dispute between the Puntland leadership has heated up. President Saeed Denny left the state about two weeks ago to campaign for the federal presidency in Mogadishu. Vice President Ahmed Karash declared that he was in charge, citing the state charter. Karash announced that he would issue a report on the state of the state, leading many to expect it to be critical of Denny's leadership. Since then, the acting president has fired the Mudu governor, Abdi Latif Sanyari, a Denny loyalist. He replaced him with his own man, Faisal Sheikh Ali. Karash also appointed a committee to investigate an attack in Galkayo on Somali Foreign Minister Abdi Saeed Muse and Elder Nabadun Yassin Abdi Samad while they were observing Iftar. Muse got away unharmed, while Nabadun, a fierce critic of Denny, is reported to be nursing his injuries. Karash himself came to Galkayo on Tuesday. He has reportedly issued at least 20 presidential decrees since asserting his authority. The acting leader also appointed 18 director generals for various agencies. Karash has pardoned 60 prisoners accused of minor crimes during the Ramadan period. And he appointed another governor on Monday, Abdi Karim Jama, to run Las Cure. Denny this week sent his own directives, telling Puntland officials and civil servants to ignore most of his VP's orders. I am the president of Puntland government, Mr. Saeed Abdullahi Denny, and I am guarding the responsibility of upholding the law according to the constitution of Puntland. I am here to state that it is not ethical every action that the acting president produces. He is the deputy of the government of Puntland while I am inside the country of Somalia. Now I am advising all government agencies to do their job and not to be led to any rounds that are not complying with the Constitution and other regulations of the government of Puntland according to Article 138. Denny met with UK Ambassador Kate Foster shortly after issuing that statement Monday. Karash replied to Denny's post Tuesday again saying he was legally Puntland's leader. The statement issued by President Denny is contrary to the constitution and laws of Puntland, and as the president is not currently in the territory of Puntland. ADN-TV will continue to report on political developments across Somalia.